Okay, I want you to notice the date here. 2018, April 11th, 12-12. Okay. PubMed and CVI. NIH, National Institute of Health, dot gov. Interfacing graphene-based materials with neural cells. I'm making this video for those who want to think that the graphene oxide information in regards to the possibility that they're included in some of the vaccines is just a conspiracy. So the abstract the scientific community has witnessed an exponential increase in the application of graphene and graphene-based materials in a wide range of fields, from engineering to electronics to biotechnologies and biomedical applications. For what concerns neuroscience? The interest raised by these materials is twofold. On one side, nano sheets made of graphene or graphene derivatives, graphene oxide, or its reduced form can be used as carriers for drug delivery. Okay, so from right there, I want to go to the Moderna's website. Okay, our this was under our M RNA platform. Enabling drug discovery and development, we built Moderna on the guiding premise that if using mRNA as a medicine works for one disease, it should work for many diseases. So, I mean... <laughs> could take that however you want. <laughs> and if this is possible, given the right approach and infrastructure, it could meaningfully improve how medicines are discovered, developed, and manufactured. Our operating system. Recognizing the broad potential of mRNA science, we set out to create an mRNA technology platform that functions very much like an operating system on a computer. It is designed so that it can plug and play interchangeably with different programs. In our case, the program or app is our mRNA drug. The unique mRNA sequence that codes for a protein. We have a dedicated team of several hundred scientists and engineers solely focused on advancing Moderna's platform technology. 
They are organized around key disciplines and work in an integrated fashion to advance knowledge surrounding mRNA science and to solve for and to solve for challenges that are unique to mRNA drug development. Some of these disciplines include mRNA biology, chemistry, formulation, and delivery. Okay, that's why we came here. Bioinformatics and protein engineering. Okay. Our mRNA medicines, the software of life. Okay. So we're not really seeing anything about graphene oxide here. Okay, our multidisciplinary platform teams work together closely to address these scientific and technical challenges. The intensive cross-functional collaboration has enabled us to advance key aspects of our platform and make significant strides to deliver mRNA medicines for patients. Okay. Okay. Here, an important aspect is to evaluate their toxicity. I wonder if that's what the experimental aspect of what we're witnessing right now has to do with. My, I suspect that is definitely the case. Which strongly depends on flake composition chemical functionalization and dimensions. On the other side, graphene can be exploited as a substrate for tissue engineering. In this case, conductivity is probably the most relevant amongst the various properties of the different graphene materials as it may allow to instruct and interrogate neural networks. Okay, so now there we're, we're basically talking about Elon Musk. his original Neuralink presentation. So you could watch that for yourself. I'm not actually going to play that. So here's how Elon plans to put a computer in your brain. Now, remember, this is Moderna here. So I don't know. Very interesting. Okay. Okay, so as it may allow to instruct and interrogate neural networks as well as to drive neural growth and differ differentiation, which holds a great potential in regeneration medicine, regener regenerative medicine. In this review, we try to give a comprehensive view of the accomplishments and new challenges of the field, as well as which, in our view, are the most exciting directions to take in the immediate future. These include the need to engineer multifunctional nanoparticles, NPS, NPs, able to cross the blood-brain barrier to reach neurocells. 
and to achieve on-demand delivery of specific drugs. We describe the state of the art in the use of graphene materials to engineer three-dimensional scaffolds to drive neuronal growth and regeneration in vivo and the possibility of using graphene as a component of hybrid composites, multi-layer organic electronic devices. Okay, multi-layer organic electronics devices. So we could go back to Moderna here. Our operating system, it can plug and play. Okay. Software of life. I mean, I'm not trying to scare anybody here. Last but not least, we address the need of an accurate th theoretical modeling of the interface between graphene and biological material. By modeling the interaction of graphene with proteins and cell membranes at the nanoscale and describing the physical mechanism mechanisms of charge transfer by which the various graphene materials can influence the excitability and physiology of neuro cells so now you're talking about the interaction with the graphene which oxide which acts as a scaffold for the manipulation of electronic waves, right? Charges, charge transfer. Excitability, neural cells. So there you go. There's my video.